beautiful. Fuck, I miss you. How has it been almost five years? It still feels like yesterday. I truly can't believe it most days. You never got to meet my fiance. You never seen the home I've made. You got to meet Pip. At least we had that going. You might have been allergic, but at least you got to meet my little demon. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. And I wish I could have done the same for you. I was really going through it when you came into my life. And you really saved me. You were really the friend that I needed that pulled me out of a dark place. I knew that you weren't doing good. And I wish I could have pulled you out the way that you did for me. I still can't go to Ikea without thinking about the time that we rented a truck and made a whole day of it. And then when the boys tried to build the furniture, they got everything wrong and we had to rebuild everything. That was a normal day for us though. Proving the boys wrong and proving that we were superior to them. I still go to the casino that we used to go to. I can't even hear people talk about blackjack without thinking about playing blackjack with you and the boys. I can't believe that you were gone before keeping up with the Kardashians was canceled. If only you had seen the show's over and now they have a spinoff because of course they do. It was your favorite. You would have loved the spinoff. Tacky and terrible, just like the original. Exactly your favorite type of show. You'd be so proud of me. I'm really building the life that you kept telling me I'd be able to build. I'm really building the life that you always wanted. I miss you so much, my friend, and I wish that you had seen your value. You deserve so much better than him. You let him destroy you. You let him hurt you and absolutely obliterate your sense of self. He wasn't worth that. He wasn't worth getting you hooked on drugs. He wasn't worth the inevitable. To this day, I still knowing you have an opinion on what happened. I know that you blamed yourself very much for the passing of You said he was your best friend and that you tried to save him. For you to then go months later. For years I didn't know if it was an OD or if it was a suicide. Your family kept everything very hush-hush. I only found out because a coworker messaged me because they knew you when you were a child and they knew we were close. I didn't hear a word from any of your family. Still to this day, I've never seen your obituary. I wish I knew where you were buried. If you were buried, you were Jewish and you had tattoos and I'm not sure how that ends up working. <laughs> Because I've heard a few things. I feel like I never got closure. I feel like I never really got to say goodbye. Maybe that's what this is. I miss you so much more than I can put into words. There are certain songs that I still can't listen to without thinking about you. I still drive by your street all the time. I have to pass it to get to my favorite bar. <laughs> And every time my heart breaks a little bit more. Still to this day, you have said the pettiest comment I have ever heard anybody make. You still hold the crown for the pettiest person I know. Don't worry though, because if I run into certain people in public, no words will be exchanged. I will still never get over how unbelievably petty you could be, especially when you were defending one of your friends somebody that you loved. I try to keep your memory alive as much as I can. Recently, I went out to lunch with We talked about you, but that's nothing new. I talk about you all the time. 
to my other friends that knew you, to people that never got the pleasure to meet you. Honestly, to whoever I can. There's a trend going around right now on Instagram about how your best friends are the people that you don't have any photos with. And I hate that because I don't have any photos with you. I remember taking a group photo and leaning out of the way because I didn't look put together that day. What I wouldn't give now for just one photo with you. I still have pictures that you've sent me. Every year on the anniversary, I post that picture of you that you sent me when you did your hair exactly the way I told you to. You were so proud of how it came out. I guess I just don't understand. I understand that you're gone. I understand in the most literal of senses what happened. I understand to a psychological point why it happened. I just wish it hadn't gotten that far. I wish you had been able to reach out. I wish I'd been able to be there for you. I wish that your family didn't hide things and that I could have gone to any services. I wish I could have had closure. I wish I wasn't up writing this letter right now instead of texting you or calling you. One of my fiance's close friends was your neighbor. The amount of times that I want to ask him if he knew you, but then I can't bring myself to. What if he says no? What if he moved there after you passed? Or worse, your parents sold the house. What if he moved into your old home? That would be closure. But I don't think that that would be closure I could handle. Seeing somebody else in your old home, it still hurts every single day. Every time I go to get my nails done, I remember when I was working my terrible retail job and you convinced me to tell them I was sick and leave early so you and I could go get our nails done. Granted, it was in my last two weeks before I quit the place for good, so we didn't really care anymore. I miss you so much. I keep writing it. Because that's all I can think. I miss you so much. I would give just about anything to have you back here another day. I would give just about anything to be able to say goodbye. I wish you knew how loved you truly were how much better you deserved than the cards that life dealt you. You were truly an angel here on earth. And now you get to be my angel. The worst part. I'm 31. You never made it to 30. I don't understand. I don't understand why your life was cut so short. And I don't think I'll ever understand. All I can say is that I'm going to do everything I can to keep your memory alive as long as I'm alive. Five years without you is far too long. I can't believe I have to go the rest of my life without one of my best friends. Thank you for being you. Thank you for always being a shoulder to cry on, first to make me laugh. The only girl I would have Pretty Little Liars and Kardashian marathons with. You supported me in everything I ever did. I never got that kind of support from anybody else. Every time I do anything petty, I will always think of you. I promise. I'll let that be your legacy. Thank you for being my best friend. Goodbye. I don't know, but I've been told the world outside is all so cold. So cold.